Hello, this is Isabel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I will be doing a short video of an altered index card. I love working with index cards because they allow me to craft with my supplies in a short amount of time and still feel that I had some creative time. So let's begin. I will be working with a 4x6 index card. This size gives me more space to work with but still small enough to complete in less than half an hour. I begin with stamping a typewriter image. I love all typewriter images. I then ink the whole card with Tim Holtz Walnut Ink Distress Ink. I'm not the best ink blender so I spray some water and then heat dry the ink. This is my favorite ink by the way. I've decided to title this card Keeper of the Words which is how I see myself. I try to document our daily life whether through words, art, or pictures. Scrapbooking is what began my paper crafting journey 17 years ago. To keep it simple, I use my letter stamps. I haven't used these stamps in years so I forgot that the E is upside down. That's the first mistake for this card. I then get a background stamp to give some texture. I'm not sure what the design is but it looks like linen. I get another index card which could have been a scrap and stamp the typewriter again. I fussy cut it and ink it in broken china blue and ink the edges also. I then add some more distress ink around the card. I decide to heat emboss the typewriter and it turns out too white where the image cannot really be seen anymore. Second mistake on this card. I decide to stamp the same image and cut again. I then heat emboss in clear powder this time around. I cut more of the image and layer over the first image. I use the leftover scrap from the index card and glue enough pieces under it to give some height. Mistakes are made sometimes but I like how it looks anyway. I mix some gesso with water and add some drops on the card. I also use my finger to rub some of the mix on the card. That's it for this card. I use up some of the mix and place some on the card with a brush. Journaling is such an important part of my life. Who else out there is a keeper of the words in your life? Until next time, keep safe. Bye.